for the blood of your son, my Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord, church. Um, um, just want to say how... Um, well, it's a privilege to be here tonight as uh, you know we are here in the Rock Church. I just want to say um, how much the Lord is faithful, how much the Lord is um, is a great God, an awesome, awesome God. I do want to say uh, hi, hello to the Rock Church. Miss you guys dearly. Um, glad to be a part of the Rock Church. I know, I mean, I love my church. I love my church. Um, it's good to be with you guys tonight. Um, it's it's just a privilege, and a, I just have overwhelmed uh, joy to be here with you guys tonight. A privilege to bring the word to you guys tonight. But um, I do want to say that um, the word that I have tonight is is it's really been in my spirit. It's really been. Um, in me and the Lord has dealt with me greatly and um, <laughs> so it's a good thing right when the Lord deals with you when the Lord is there for you because the Lord um, always prepares us and that's my message tonight like if I was to put a title on it the title is God always prepares us and uh, so I just want to give a little bit of a uh, uh, shout out to TRC love you guys love from the sister Levada, sister Becky Love you, miss you dearly. Uh, but if we can get into the presence of the Lord for a little bit, if we can just, um, I'm going to put a, put a song here. And if we can just get into the presence and just, uh, just you know, give just worship the Lord for a little bit. And uh, before I get into the word and, you know, gather our thoughts on the Lord, put our minds on the Lord. Uh, it's been a good day today. And so can we just spend a little moment, just a few minutes, a few moments with the Lord before we get into the message, you know, and just invite the Lord there in your home where you're at. Uh, just, Lord, we want to thank you. Lord, just want to worship you right now, Lord. Just want to bless your name, Lord. Just want to tell you, Lord, that we love you. We love you, Jesus, with all our heart, with all our strength, Lord God. And we surrender to you today, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your greatness, Lord, for your purpose, for your plan in our life, Lord, in this time and in these moments, Lord. Lord, can we just take a moment, Lord, to worship you, to adore you, to magnify your name, to say how thankful that we are, Lord, that we are thankful and privileged to be here tonight, Lord, to, to bless your name, even though it's through Facebook and through his live uh, source, Father, of the internet, Lord, but we are here to thank you and to bless your name, to magnify your name, to give you all the honor, all the glory, Lord, to, to tell you, Lord, that we love you, Jesus, we love you, Lord. We love you dearly, Lord. He lo bo ko sam da la 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 bo shi to la 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 bo ko la la si to. He lo la la bo ko la 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 si to la 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 bo shan da la 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 si to la 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 la. Oh, the Lord has been great. The Lord has been marvelous. The Lord is magnificent, and above all, the Lord has been faithful. Can I get it? Amen. Amen. Somebody say Amen. How faithful the Lord has been. How great He has been. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling in the presence of Lord of, of God today, tonight in, in my place, in my home. I just want to say it's just amazing, just amazing, the presence of the Lord. And um, again, a shout out to the Rock Church there in Clute. Uh All right. So I'm not going <laughs> to, you know, just, just get to the word, okay? Um, but if you want to turn with me to your in your Bibles to the book of Luke and chapter 22, that's going to be in Luke chapter 22. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to begin with verse 31. So Luke 22, verse 31, it says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan, Satan has de uh, desired you. To have you that he may sift you as wheat but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not 
And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And, and he saith unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both unto prison and to death. Sorry. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before thou hast thrice denied that thou knowest me. And he said unto him, unto them, oh, just, I'm sorry, just to write there, just verse 34. And we could jump down to verse 54. Glory to Dios. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Then look them, then looked they him, and led him and brought him unto the high priest's house. And Peter was afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall, and they were down together, Peter sat down among them. So being a certain maid beheld, beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man is also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know not. I know him not. And after a little while, another saw him and said, Thou art also with them. And he said, Man, I am man i am not and above the space of an hour yet another confidently after affirming saying of truth this fellow also is with him for he is a galilean and peter said man i know him not that thou speakest and immediately while yet he spake the cock crow and the lord turned and looked into peter looked upon peter and peter immediately Remember the word of the Lord, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me. Thou shalt deny, deny me thrice. And Peter went and wept bitterly. Oh, praise God. He told in Jesus name in Jesus name you know the the the, the if I was to put a, a title and I said this already you know the title is God always prepares us he's always preparing us you know uh the enemy is always looking to seek to to um to destroy leadership of the church that the enemy is always wanting to destroy the leadership we look at the life of peter we look at peter right now and peter here you know he is a courageous man peter is a a man that you know that first you know uh was ready to to walk on water you know he said you tell the lord you know i'll, I'll walk on water if that is you jesus i'll walk towards where you're at you know and so he was first also the first to recognize that jesus was the messiah you know he was very impulsive and he was first to speak and peter was you know uh when he said lord when he when we, the verse that we read he was lord i will go with you to to prison and to death you know peter had all intentions to do that and it was and peter was, sp was speaking honestly he was he was to do that he would go to the heaven of death but you know uh peter didn't know himself quite as much as he thought he knew himself you know, how many times can we say ourselves also, we don't know ourselves as much as we think we know ourselves. You know, the Lord had already told Peter that he was, that the enemy had asked for him to sift them as wheat, you know, to sift them as wheat. You know, and, uh, you know, Peter was a courageous man. Um, but here, you know, the Lord you know, tells him and warns him that, right? Um, you know, you know, Peter was just a little bit confidence in himself. How, how, how many times are we confident in, in, in our own ability, in our own uh, uh, understanding, and we have confidence in that. And sometimes when we have confidence in our ability and our understanding, we don't take that, we don't, we don't take that, or those places in our area, we don't lean on the Lord as we should lean on the Lord, because we kind of, we have confidence in our ability and, and that's what happened to Peter. Peter had confidence and ability 
And not only that, he had he had confidence in what he felt for the Lord, the love that he had for the Lord. You know, uh, he had been walking with the Lord for a while. He had been seeing the miracles that the Lord was doing. And, and you know, he was uh, you know a faithful man. He was a man full of faith. And he was a, a man ready to, you know, with absolute surrender to the Lord and and to be obedient to God. And, and so here we are. Here's Peter. You know, Lord, I'm going to go to to prison with you i'll go to death with you you know that that you know and, and so this is peter right and and so you know this is us sometimes and we do this you know out of our ability and out of our strength and our confidence in ourselves and uh and so we're quick to 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 say no lord i, I I'm, I'm coming with you i'm gonna go and we'll see you know and, and jesus tells peter peter before the night is over, you're going to deny me three times. You're going to deny me, Peter, three times. Before the, the, the rooster crows, you know, you're going to deny me. And uh, sure enough, you know, they came for the Lord, and, and, and we just read it, you know, he, that he denied them. And he, he even won, won, uh, won uh, in, uh, I think, in Mark, you know, he said he even cursed. He even cursed. I, I don't know the man. I don't know the man, you know. And, and, and then uh, by the third time, he... He um, he denies them. The crow, the rooster crows, and and Jesus looks at him, and Peter looks at him. They locked eyes, and I can just imagine what was going through Peter. Not only remembering the words that that Jesus said, but even the words that he said. That Lord, I would never deny you. Lord, I I I'll go to prison with you. But now you see Peter at a far off looking at Jesus being beaten, looking at Jesus being accused, and, and he's over here, you know, uh, denying him, and he's over here, uh, you know, just remembering the words, and, and I can just imagine, and I put myself in that place, I can just imagine how bitterly he wept, because he was a man of, he is a man of faith and ready for obedience, but yet he, Peter didn't know himself. He didn't know that he would deny the Lord because he honestly, really, truly intentions were to go with the Lord, to not, you know, to be at his side, to, to not leave him. Because he said, these, all, all these may forsake you, Lord, but I'm not going to forsake you. I'm, I'll go with you, Lord. And uh, the reality is we don't know ourselves. We don't know, but the Lord knows us and the Lord is always preparing us. The Lord is always there to, t you know, he's preparing us and he's preparing Peter to Peter to, to want to, to be, to come to the end of himself, you know, and, and, and that's what was happening with Peter. This is what was happening with Peter. Um, you know, you know, we're, as we reserve, you know, if you read the book of, uh, of chapter 22, if you go a little bit, you know, um, further in or the almost at the beginning you know peter t uh, jesus tells them to to pray you know to pray with him and, and and you know they fell asleep and he tells them twice to to pray to not into temptation to pray so they won't enter into temptation but they fell asleep and how many times you know we sleep well, maybe we should be praying you know and uh and so we wouldn't enter into temptation but that happened and so we see that peter fails the Lord so we see he, he's now we see him he's weeping he he just is weeping bitterly he's he's torn up he's broken and but you know the, the Lord tells him you know when we read uh when you are when you are converted you go and strengthen strengthen the brethren um you know uh, just to go get back go back a little bit you know about our about failure about Peter's failing you know and, and that's part probably part of the reason why Peter failed and probably the reason that sometimes we fail the Lord because we don't pray we don't pray and we sleep when we should be praying praying seeking the Lord more um you know uh you know the the the, the, the emphasis that I want to put here is is on is on the um, not the failure of of Peter, but the the emphasis that the Lord, you know, even with our weakness, the Lord is, you know, is preparing us. He's preparing us, and He's ready to to forgive us. He's ready to restore us. He's ready to get us to that relationship that you know that that we need to have with the Lord, with Him. Uh, um, sorry, I just got my notes mixed up here. You know, uh, 
just getting back to the denial of Peter and and you know the lesson that needs to be learned here that even though we are we are we tend to sometimes you know get into our confidence and, and our own abilities that the Lord knows us he knows us where we're at he knows what he formed us from 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 what he formed us and that he is preparing us and you know um, and Peter you know we know he's restored you know he was the one that that you know in, in the book of Acts you know he in chapter 2 you read that story in chapter 2 how Peter you know the boldness after he received the Holy Ghost and how he, he began to the ministry that he had and and, uh, and, and and you know and everything that he did you know but I also want to go to the book of first Peter and uh, if you go with me there first um, Peter chapter 4 Sorry, I had a mark here. Okay. Well, first go to First Peter chapter five. I'm sorry, chapter five, and you know it says uh, in verse eight it says, "Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour." You know this is Peter speaking. Peter's uh, the epistle of Peter. You know. And, and, you know, this is the Peter that is now restored. This is the Peter that now has the experience where he had failed the Lord. And, and now, he you know, he's, he's already restored. He's already, uh, you know, there's years and years, I'm sure, have gone by. And now he is telling us, he ex, you know, exhorting in his letters, you know, for us to be sober and vigilant because the, the, this enemy is ready to devour you. But if you go back to, if, and you read uh, even chapter 4, of first Peter you, we can go there the chapter 4 first Peter chapter 4 beginning in verse 1 it says for as much then as Christ has suffered for all of us in the flesh arm yourself likewise with the same mind for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin for then no longer should live the rest of our of his time in the flesh but lust to the lust of the men but to the will of God go down to verse 7 um, he said but the end of all things is at hand and be therefore sober and watch unto prayer verse 8 and above all things have have fervent charity charity among yourself for charity shall cover the multitude of sins um, and go down to verse number 12 it says beloved Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is in is to is to try you, as though some strange thing had happened unto you, but rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of the Christ's sufferings, and when the glory and when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Um if ye be reproached for the saint for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of God, uh, for the spirit of glory and of God, rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken, but on your part, he is glorified. He is glorified, and so, you know, these are the exhortations. These are the letters of Peter. This is the experience of Peter. Peter, you know, denied the Lord, and and he wept bitterly. He failed the Lord, and. But now we see, you know, his exhortation. Now he sees what he is telling us to be sober, to be vigilant. Now he's telling them to, to, uh, how to, how to be in, you know, and how to walk and to, you know, um, just as, as we read, um, verse, uh, chapter five, verse one, two, and three, it says, you know, uh, in verse two, it says, feed the flock for God, which is among you taking the oversight thereof out of okay i'm sorry feed the flock which is among you taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly not for filthy lucre but of a ready mind neither as being lords over god's heritage but being examples unto the flock and that's what he jesus was telling peter to feed the flock to to uh, strengthen the brethren, and that's what he's doing today with, with uh, 
you know, him denying the Lord and being restored to the Lord. And now we see, even in the book of Peter, how Peter is telling us to be sober, to be vigilant, you know, and uh, that's what the Lord has for us today. You know, don't matter the fate, which, how you have failed the Lord, don't matter if you have denied the Lord, the Lord is ready to restore us. He is ready to restore that relationship with you, to give you the, the strength that you need to walk with him, to be, you know, be encouraged, be encouraged. And, you know, uh, as I was studying this lesson and I was thinking about Peter and how he denied the Lord and how, you know, he was so confident that he would not deny the Lord and he would never leave him. And, you know, just to, we have to come to a place where we need to, you know, uh, let the Lord search us. Cause we don't, you know, he, you know, he didn't, he honestly felt he was going to do this, but he didn't know himself. And sometimes we don't know ourselves we don't know ourselves and the Lord has to, you know, sometimes reveal what is inside of us to get it out of us, to come to the end of ourselves so we can walk with the Lord and we can do what the Lord wants us to do, to be in the place where the Lord wants you to be and, and uh, you know, be an example to, the, to who is around you, to whoever is around you, to your family, the ministry, whatever ministry the Lord has you in, you know, we have to be, come to the place we are, we are totally surrendered to the Lord, and it's not our will, but it's his will to be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So um, I'm just going to play this song, and I'm just going to just spend a little bit of time in prayer. And there where you're at, if, if you feel like you maybe denied the Lord, or you feel like you failed the Lord, you know, know that the Lord is not far from you know that the Lord is reaching out to you he's reaching out to you tonight that he wants to restore that relationship he wants to restore you like he restored Peter he wants you to be an example to others he wants you to encourage others to strengthen the brethren strengthen that person that is no, most closest to you and so just want to thank the Lord for his word tonight Lord I thank you father for your word father thank you father that Father, you love us, Lord, and you love us in such a manner, Father, you would, you know, Lord, uh, we would fail you, Lord, but you would still restore us, Lord, because out of your love, Father, you have for us, Lord, and we thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. We thank you, Father, for Peter tells us to first to be sober and vigilant, Lord, for, for us to walk close to you, Lord, and we ask you, I ask you, God, for each person, Lord, that's listening to me tonight, Lord, if they have failed you in any way, Father, they've denied you in any way, Father, that they would be restored tonight, Lord. Restore them their place, Lord, of sonship, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you for the love that you have towards us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for you are with us, Lord, no matter, Lord, what we have in our lives, what is going on in our lives, Lord, you are there for us at every moment, at every time, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. As we surrender to you, Father, as we are willingly surrender to you, Lord, search our hearts, God. Search our hearts, Father. And we are here, Lord Jesus. And we want to surrender our lives to you, Lord. Oh, prepare your church, Father. Prepare your church, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, will the Lord bless each one of y'all tonight. And I hope it was a, the word was a blessing to you. And um, as we continue to serve the Lord, as we continue to move forward, and I pray each one of us would be strengthened tonight that the Lord God is preparing us no matter what you're going through, no matter the failures you may feel that you have failed the Lord in some way, you may have denied the Lord in some way, but know that he is here to strengthen you and to restore you, your relationship with him in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless y'all.